Good Erev Shabbos, Parshas Bereshis. We are at the beginning of a new cycle of Talmud Torah, of reading the Torah. And how exciting is that? And the very opening Pasuk of Bereshis is a quintessential Jewish Pasuk. It is a, it is a perfect way to begin the cycle of Talmud Torah. Because in fact, this Pasuk is just redolent with questions and ambiguities that require uh, an in-depth analysis. I would like just to focus on the beginning of the beginning of the beginning. Bracious bara Elohim. In the beginning, Hashem created the heavens and the earth. Now, our psukim in the Torah come along with uh, some uh, uh, with uh, cantillation, with the trup. Uh, how it is traditionally read. And if you look at how it's traditionally read, it creates certain problems with how we understand the Pasuk. So let's get right into it. Read along with me if you would. Bracious bara Elohim es hashamayim es ha'aretz. In the beginning, Hashem created the heavens and the earth. The problem with this read is it doesn't read properly according to the trup. In the beginning, bracious, pause. Bara Elohim, God created, pause. Es hashamayim es ha'aretz, the heavens and the earth. That's not really a very uh, flowing way how to, uh, how, how to express that idea. In the beginning, fine, pause, Hashem created the heavens and the earth, but there is an asnachta, a pause in the middle of the pasuk. And therefore, this seems to be a problematic read for the pshat. There is a second famous way how to read this pasuk. Bereshis bar Elohim, in the beginning of God's creation of heavens and the earth. But this presents two problems. We have two pauses in this pasuk. Bereshis, in the beginning of, pause, bar Elohim, God's creation, pause, the heavens and the earth. And that doesn't read too well either. In the beginning of God's creation of heavens and the earth, it should be one simple read. Instead, the trump breaks it up into these two uh, difficult uh, pauses. So this way of reading the, uh, the Pasuk is problematic as well, according to the traditional read of the trump. The Targum Yerushalmi offers an approach which is not necessarily a pshat approach, it could be, but uh, tries to minimize it uh, and reads it as follows. Bereshis, which means bechachma, with wisdom, bara elokim, God created. Pause, heaven and earth. <laughs> so we're stuck again. It should say, bereshis with wisdom, God created the heavens and the earth. We're stuck with that middle, with that middle uh, pause in the middle of the pasuk. There is one read of this Pasuk, which is not a pshat. And perhaps when our great Chacham and our sages of old instituted the read of this Pasuk, they made us read the Pasuk not to conform with the pshat of the Pasuk, but rather to project a drash, an interpretation, a homiletic idea, a musr, a value, a thought, an ideal. It's not the pshat. But its wisdom is nevertheless true. And that is Bereshis in the beginning. Pause. Bara Elohim. Not that God created something in the beginning, but God created the very notion of Bereshis. Bereshis, Bara Elohim. God created beginnings, new beginnings. It is inherent to the universe. It is inherent to the human condition. It is inherent to what it means to be a Jew. And that is that life is full of beginnings. Our relationship with the Rebona Shalom is full of beginnings. We are not condemned to live a life with permanent failures and foibles and failings. We are not condemned to permanently live a life with the challenges and difficulties and setbacks, we have always new beginnings. That is inherent to creation. In the beginning, God created in the beginning. In the beginning is when he created, and he created that very moment, which continues to exist day after day after day. Today was a bad day. Today was a tough day. Today was a day full of, uh, full of disappointments. But tomorrow is a brand new day, and there is gracious there as well. This morning, I faltered. This morning, I missed my mark. This morning, I failed to meet the expectations that I have set for myself. 
But now, an hour later, Bereshus, I have a new beginning. Bereshus is endemic and inherent to the fabric of creation. It's not the pshat of the Pasuk. But its wisdom is perhaps what our Chachamim uh, were intending to put forward. This is a beautiful Hasidic drash on the, on the Pasuk, which I think enca- uh, encapsulates uh, the whole notion of what it means to begin Bracious, to begin the, uh, the, the, uh, the cycle with Bracious. We are again, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we have to say again that we are in the middle of a pandemic. We are in the middle of difficult, very difficult times. And it is at this time in particular which we are called upon to remind ourselves of the value of gracious, the value of new starts, of new beginnings. We cannot allow ourselves uh, to be held back emotionally, psychologically, intellectually, spiritually, religiously. We cannot allow ourselves just to fall into despair. Yes, there is a challenge. Cannot deny that. Yes, there are difficulties. We must engage but nevertheless, we do so with a spirit of bracious that today I can, uh, I can do something better than yesterday, that this afternoon I can do something better than this morning. And even if I cannot solve all of my life's challenges, I have the koach of bracious embedded within my very DNA. My relationships don't have to stay static. My challenges don't have to stay static. My religious spiritual commitments don't have to stay static. My foibles and my failures don't have to be static. I have the power of gracious within me. So how do you read the Pasuk? Let's read it again. Read it along with me if you would. Gracious bara Elohim. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Gracious bara Elohim. In the beginning of God's creation of heaven and the earth, he said by he or, he said, let there be light. Bracious, bara Elohim, with wisdom, yes, with wisdom, Hashem created the world. And you know what that wisdom is? Yes, it's the wisdom of the Torah. It's the wisdom of racious, the wisdom of new beginnings. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu bless you and me and all of us together as we start this new cycle of a new beginning that we grab onto this notion of gracious and let it vitalize our lives, let it animate the way we live. And let, us give a, let it give us the hope, the power, the courage to take on the challenges that stand before us with new vigor, to take on the religious commitments to ourselves, to our neighbors, to the Rabboni Shalom, with new vigor, with new commitment, with new vigor. And in doing so, to live a life of creation, to live a life of gracious. And what better way to, uh, to, uh, to begin the Torah with that wisdom, gracious bara Elohim. Good Shabbos, good Shabbos to all.